Hey everybody, I wanted to take a quick moment and show you how to get your Google Maps API key using Google Cloud Console. So what you'll first want to do is go to uh, console.cloud.google.com. That is a heck of a mouthful, but that's the URL that we need to get to. Um, and when you first get there, if you're using a personal Gmail account, this will be much easier than if you're using like a workspace account. Um, you know, uh, and what I mean by that is if you're using an at gmail.com email address and not a, you know, at your app or at your organization.com email. Um, if you have that, you'll need to, you know, talk to the admin or you will need to go into the admin settings and make sure that you have enabled billing and, you know, all that sort of, all those sorts of permissions there for that. So using a personal Gmail is way easier uh, for this. And that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today. But once you uh, get to the, the cloud console, you probably see something similar to this. Uh, you may see like the project selector if you've already got projects. Um, you can t you can see that I've already got an app uh, an app project here called Less List, um, but I'm actually just going to make a test app here because I want to apply you know the uh, the the Google Maps API key to a new project. So I'm just going to click on the little project selector there. Click on New Project. Um, that's fine. My project, sure. Uh, because I'm not part of an organization, this is just a personal uh, Gmail, I don't have to select an organization here. But if you are part of an organization, you will have to select this and a folder as well. So we'll click Create. It's going to create this project, and then I can either select this project from this notifications uh, thing that pops up, or I can just select it from this drop-down over here. I can do that as well. So there's my project. Um, and then the next thing that I need to do for this project is actually connect a billing account. So I'm going to go up here to this top left menu here and go to billing. Now I've already got a billing account set up, um, but if you don't, it will actually prompt you to create a billing account. Um, and it may actually prompt you to do this at various points in this process. So don't freak out if it prompts you to add a billing account at any point. Um, I've had it happen to me right up front, right when I get to Google Console. I've had it happen, you know, even after I've created the project like this. Um, but once you have a billing account of some type tied to your, uh, your Google account, um, you can pretty much assign that billing account to any project that you want. Um, and that's kind of what it's already done here. It found my billing account that I already had. And now it's tying it to the new project that I've just made. All right. So just make sure that you go through the steps of setting that up. It's pretty easy. You just follow the prompts, uh, put in your card information, um, and, you know, tell them uh, that, uh, that they have permission to access your card and that sort of thing. Um, and you can see that by the screen check here. Uh, this warning here is basically just telling me that I can set up uh, budget alerts. So that, uh, you know, if it gets near what I'm willing to spend, it will let me know um, and those sorts of things. But now that we've got this billing set up, let's go back over to this. Uh, we're actually going to go into view all products here. And I'm actually going to scroll down to the very bottom here. You can also get here by the by clicking on other Google products. But uh, I'm going to click on this Google Maps platform here. And the reason that I do this is because... Um, they make it really easy to identify which APIs you need to turn on for this project in order for it to work. Um, and although we don't need all of the APIs uh, in order for the functionality in Adalo to work, it really helps to just go ahead and turn them all on anyway. Um, so that you know, if we add additional functionality or if you want to use a, a, a different API with a custom action or something like that, that you've already got that API turned on. So to do that, I'm just going to go over to APIs over here on the left. And you can see that I have zero enabled APIs. There's nothing here. But these are all the APIs that are associated with the Google Maps platform. So I want to go in and just basically turn all of these on. So to do this, I'm just going to click on each one here. It's going to take me to that API page. I'll click Enable, give it a couple of seconds. And once it enables this, you can see that that API is now added to our enabled APIs for this particular project, all right? So this may take me a second. I'm gonna go through and enable all of these. I suggest that you do the same, and I'll be back in a sec. All 
All right, so I've got all of my APIs enabled. We've got our billing set up, our project created. Now the last thing that we have to do is generate our API key. And this is probably the easiest part of the whole entire thing. So let's go over to credentials here in our maps platform area. And we're gonna go up to the top and click on create credentials. And then I'm gonna choose API key here. So it's gonna create this API key. Um, by default, it has no restrictions of any kind, anything like that. So we're essentially going to copy this and we are going to paste this into Adalo. Um, we'll, we'll paste this wherever we need it, into the maps component, um, into you know the, the left sidebar over there for uh, geolocation or the location property. Um, anywhere we, where we need that, uh, this this API key, we can use it for those services. All right, so we'll just copy that and paste that into Adalo. Um, another quick thing about the API key is that if you click on it, you can uh, change the name of it here so that it's more easily recognizable. For instance, if you have multiple apps as part of the same project, but you want them to be to use different API keys, you can do that. Um, and then you can also regenerate this key if you feel like the API key has been compromised in some way. Um, and then the last thing that I'll say here, um, otherwise you're good to go, is that uh, the, Google actually gives you $200 in free credits, um, which, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, mapsplatform.google.com. So you can see, uh, if I scroll down here, you can see that they... I'm on mapsplatform.google.com here. Um, you can see that they give you $200 of usage every month for no charge. So as long as you don't go over this, your billing account is not actually charged, which is pretty cool. Um, if you do go over this, then they'll, of course, charge your billing account. Um, but you can actually scroll down further on this page. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, let's see this. Here we go. So they've got a, a calculator here that will let you um, actually... Uh, kind of estimate how much usage you will have on your app and kind of give you a rough estimate of how much it will cost to run uh, Google Maps uh, APIs uh, in your app. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you need any help, you can always check out our help docs uh, and always uh, reach out in the forums as well.